Welcome to the Dead Horse Podcast. This is Tejas uh, hosting today. With me are Vivek. Hey guys. Rashi. Hey. And Arvind. Hello. So, uh, biggest news for us today, uh, Arvind's Kickstarter. You want to bring us up to speed on that? Oh yeah, okay. So I'm doing another Kickstarter for my uh, upcoming game. It's called Late to the Party. It's like an espionage RPG set in uh, like alternate historical fiction like Baltic states during fall of the Soviet Union. So check it out. Yeah. Like if you like the unrest, you'll probably like this because it's in the same sort of, uh, but with uh, added gadgets and uh, espionage stuff. So I think there's more character progression as well, right? I think you mentioned something about... Yeah. Uh, skills getting better as you use them more and more over time and uh, no, no, it's not exactly like that like it's not like you know uh, like skyrim where you like do something yeah, yeah. 100 times then you but it's more you... about conversational stuff i think you might get better at lying if you do it a lot yeah that's more like it so so a lot of uh, like in like unrest had this uh system where like you could just like know everyone's values like what they were but here, like, they're sort of like, you need to figure out if they're lying about their disposition t- towards you or not. So, like, e- even if someone looks like looks like they're very happy to see you, chances are they are just, like, lying. So, you okay. need to be, like, more careful of that. So, so yeah, that's, that's another big thing. Interesting. And how are you conveying that? How are you conveying that they're happy to see you? But And how do you, how does the player, like, get the information to figure out that they might be lying about uh, well like you will have a uh, like you know a dossier of for major characters that's okay. like let's say the journal from unrest but a bit more expanded all right uh, and the rest you'll just have to like figure out from the plot and the the other cues that they give you like their animation might be a little fidgety or all right. yeah uh, or like you need to figure out like for example if if like this is a witness you're interviewing and this witness is un- unreasonably cheery like this is just a very like uh, basic example yeah. and then like you're like wait why are the why are they're not supposed to be like this so you might like want to inquire upon that interesting interesting that sounds cool man okay thanks. it does and uh, you guys like uh, I, I checked out the video it looks like you guys have been on, on this for quite some time uh so, uh, you know, like how... we only started this like uh, about a month after unrest. So it has been like one and a half months of works for now. We have definitely like oh. upgraded the art style. But like the consequence of that is that we need more money to actually like finish all of the game. Yeah. And I think like the big difference is this time, I think other than you, the rest of the team will also be working on it full time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If the if the Kickstarter is successful, like hopefully it is, it's looking good yeah. so far. So you guys have yeah, done well. Yep. Yeah, uh, like based on the current uh, like projections, we like will just make it like as in like five hundred or so bucks more. So this that's might great. decline in the yeah like a, no this might decline in the future. So we are like we are hoping for some like press or Twitter or something. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, God. <laughs> that so- it sounds like the opening of Hatim Dai, what I just said. Anyway. Uh, am I really the oldest person here? Nobody gets my Hatim Dai jokes. What, what nope. am I doing this podcast for? Wow. No, no way. Yeah. Nah, don't know. Like it's a Jitendra, it's a classic Jitendra. Oh, whatever, man. Fine. Uh, <laughs> watch <laughs> Hatim Dai. It's a really gay <laughs> fantasy movie. Before Lord of the Rings, there was Hatim Dai. Before Lord... Wow. That's <laughs> how they introduced this. Before Lord of the Rings, people, there was this one movie. <laughs> Is that the same show on ZTV that they show uh, Hatim Garge Kush Bakwas? Yep. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, in defense of the original stories, the stories are actually much better than the way we film and make them look. Just saying. 
uh, like you know the mahabharat eh, back when when we were kids the tv show had that like really really shitty graphic of the arrow moving across a flat screen you know yeah. just an arrow panning across a flat screen and they'd have multiple shots of that and even today when they do action scenes for the new mahabharat tv shows it's still just an arrow panning across a flat screen and like uh-huh. nothing has changed yep it's the same with it's the same with something like hadin tai like the there's nothing new being done anywhere unless i don't know there's this new z tv show about like a superhero i haven't seen it it's called manav rakshak aryan or something i don't know it's weird it's a combination of green lantern and doctor who and uh, avatar the last airbender Oh, good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, like yeah, how, how like how uh, that stupid movie was Crash Three. Yeah, Crash Three, uh, like, uh, is is a lot more coherent than this show. Like, I, wow, I, that I, is I like saying something. That is saying something. <laughs> Like, I can assure you, he even he even did a critical analysis of these things. <laughs> like, Krishtri has a lot of problems. Complexity is not one of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it has a lot of problems. It even gives you lots of problems if you watch it. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Where what were we talking about? We were talking about my inability, my oldness. I think is what I was talking about. Anyway, we were talking about how old you were because you made a reference to uh, Arvind's game, and I don't even remember what the reference was to anymore. I just know that you Hatin made Thai. a reference. I was talking about Hatim Thai. I don't care what the yeah, reference was. Why? Because why nobody got it. Yeah. Uh, because I don't know. I remembered some, like something Arvind said reminded me of. Oh no. I was talking about uh, like Arvind said that he needed some sort of miracle to whatever it was a ah uh, like, yes there was a long season of uh, events that got us here but they just you have to get us out of here because you're hosting this <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> if it if it if it helps any uh the art style does definitely look way better in this one and yeah. uh And it's cool that you guys also added like a breakdown of you know how much money goes into what thing. Mm. Uh, I I still kind of want to know like just out of curiosity why it's Canadian dollars. Uh, but oh yeah, that's because to- the uh like the, a different person is handling the accounts now due oh, to logistics. Oh, okay. Like the the pre the person who lives in America couldn't like handle this. Uh, oh, well, that's still a very boring explanation. I was kind of expecting something more interesting. Yeah, I, I thought you were you're finding a way to swindle the taxmen out of all their money. Uh, yeah, yeah, Canada does have less tax, like for video games oh, too. So. That is good news. Uh, yeah, that's part of the reason thing. why, uh, like you know, for Andres, we we couldn't work full time even for thirty six thousand. But oh, like for this, with fifty, we like all of us can. Afford to work full time because yeah, like Canada a has less. A chunk of that money went to went into taxes, right? I think yeah, yeah. Mm. And also, a significant chunk of the money that you made went into the physical reward stuff that you guys were doing. I think you're not yeah. doing that. Yeah, quite not as of are... now. Uh, like that stuff is way easier to uh, predict once we have the like funding and stuff nailed down. Because like otherwise, I'll have to like produce uh, like you know. uh like some of them I just, you know what i think you should do i think you know like you you went to indicate and you're going to go to indicate again sometime soon my advice to you is just you know print a shitload of late to the party t-shirts and uh, when you go to indicate like just open up your suitcase and just like start throwing them at people and say you get a t-shirt you get a t-shirt and then after <laughs> you you late you you're late to the party here <laughs> 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 yeah but but yeah i don't know about that because like t-shirts are the most expensive uh, like what do you call uh, like goods to produce and like they like won't even like give a profit if anyone like gives me back uh, like a 10 dollar pledge or so because like it depends on number of t-shirts you're printing so uh, also that is what so you're saying print them in large quantities and then just throw them off i mean at people i mean that's what i meant <laughs> and you don't throw you have to make sure you throw them at people so you know yeah, make yeah. sure there is like some kind of tune and you chuck it at them with you know whatever you have just throw it at yeah, them yeah you should, you should make wrap them it notice. up 
eat eggs or anda burji and i don't know anda burji makes more sense than just eggs it should be anda burji with like butter pav i don't think anyone can say no to food and a t-shirt i know like <laughs> i pretty much <laughs> You've got the whole experience right there. This is what Indian <laughs> indies do. Uh, it passes life, and it also make it's also making a statement about game development. <laughs> All you need is shirt and food. No, on the outside it's a nice stylish looking shirt, but on the inside it's just under bushy. Oh come on, under bushy is pretty awesome, despite the fact that it's just under bushy. Okay, yeah, you have a good point. I don't about? even know what we're talking about right now. Is this we're talking about Anna Burji? Like... <laughs> we're also, talking about how Anna Burji is is a big part of <laughs> video game development. It is well, at least in <laughs> India. Like, if, if you uh, have like, no I'm Burji, surprised have through no all this. I, I, like, Arvind has not come up with like you know a dig about saying I know I now know why Blue Giant Games was so bad. Oh, I mean that that that, that goes without saying. So. You have, but you have to remind him, Vivek. Like you know, just you had to remind remind him. You could you could have let it lie, just been happy that nothing, no digs had been taken. <laughs> but no. When he's behaving well, I should point it out, na. <laughs> no, I think he was a, a, like a kind of anomaly should, for the better. Should reinforce positive behavior. I see. Uh huh. So I don't anyway, that's with Ashwin. Yeah. But, uh, with, Too bad they didn't take this lesson at Blue Jet. Am I right? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that lasted so, for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't really. But uh, uh, anyway, what if, yeah. Anyways, what have you guys been playing of late? Uh, I've been kind of, uh, you know, not really playing anything at all for the last um, week. But I think you guys have, right? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, I've been playing <laughs> some games. Some games. All right. So, well, uh, what have you been playing, Arvin? Uh, I've been playing this uh, like rogue-like platformer, like Spelunky. That's uh, it's called Super House of Dead Ninjas, and I've been playing uh, like some some Prison Architect, but not that much. Hmm. So, so yeah, like Super House of Dead Ninjas. It's a uh, Like I like the platformer because it's explicitly made to for like quick progression. So how it works is that uh, levels are randomly generated. You start at the top floor of a tower and you descend all the way down. And uh, the a great thing they they have done is like you get thirty seconds at the start of like the time uh, to give yourself more time. You have to collect time pickups. So they'll be there mm-hmm. only once, like every. Uh, like ten floors or so, so you can't spend like too much time on one floor. You constantly have to rush ahead, and that and that means like you know lots of accidental deaths and such since you have to plan on the fly. Then they have like right. the weapons feel really good. Uh, like the katana feels it feels very nice like to slash and stuff. And uh, there's lots of throwing weapons. I love the boomerang because it has infinite ammo. Uh, the others don't. So, so yeah. Overall, yeah. It's just uh, and the boomerang comes back. So in a two D game, if it comes back, that means it hits people twice. So two times is usually enough to kill whatever. No. So. Enemies. Yeah. So so yeah. It's a yeah. It's a fun platformer. Like I like playing it for just like you know short five minute bursts. Since it's like you know thirty thirty seconds, then roughly like every fifty uh, floors or so, there's a boss. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it does get very tough though. Like I haven't been able to kill the third boss because once you kill the third boss, then it like you know mutates into a second form. So, so the first form already like takes a lot of my life. So the second one. Mm. Does it have health pickups or like health drops? No, you just you die if you touch an enemy. That's what makes it tricky. Because, oh, that's... yeah. So you have a thirty second time limit. You die on touching an enemy. You get like four or five lives. uh can be extended to like 10 or so 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 be, so yeah you have a very short leash uh interesting and yeah and there is lot uh, there is a downward slash attack and everything but yeah like that's what may, you are you 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 are very fast and you can do a lot of damage if you play carefully but like you're sort of a glass cannon basically so you have to be, okay. always be careful 
but that but the time limit means that you know like in spelunky you you it's in your best interest to proceed as slowly as you can like just scope out all the area as uh, especially in the later levels and uh, like take the safest route here it's not really an option uh it's 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 a bit less uh, like the levels are a bit less random than spelunky like i've uh, i've played like four or five hours and like i think i've seen most of the layouts they repeat a bit too okay. so yeah it's yeah. but yeah overall it's just a, it's one of those games you know where, where where you can just like you have five minutes to kill you so you can just play it once and then come back to it later yeah i think spelunky uh, has an advantage over something like this because uh, spelunky's nature isn't uh, like spelunky a the environments change fairly quickly like i think four worlds in you're always looking at a new environment and uh, it's just the load of, like the permutations and combinations of monsters that you can face in any spelunky level is pretty insane right uh, i think those two things make spelunky kind of like superior to this that and uh, no do do i must it's say that like it. i like i do like playing this more than spelunky because like in spelunky the movement and such is a bit more clunky like here the movement is really fast and like uh yeah uh, like this the the weapons and such feel really good so it it which feels very good to play with, like with spelunky is that uh, which what i found uh, like especially with spelunky is that once you get at a certain level in that game you move really really quickly but you have to put in a lot of time and grind a lot to get to that level like you have to practice like hell to be able to to beat that game and then go to hell and fight whatever it is that you fight there it's insane yeah i only uh, like i have never finished uh, like spelunky i i only got to the pyramid levels i got so. to the last world of uh, world i got to the last level of world four uh, which is i think the pyramid the temple yeah the temple uh, yeah that's the one i got to the last world in that level and i've never been able to clear that and i've kind of given up i'm oh, doing it now but i love that game it's it's a lot of fun spelunky is a lot of fun yeah uh though, though i do think that like my favorite game in this genre is rogue legacy because i finished <laughs> that game like i put in the the time to re- required to be good enough to finish that game so yeah for me again like even rogue legacy came down to just time and i was not willing to put in the time to grind as much as you have to in that game mm-hmm. but it is a fun game there's no doubt about it mm-hmm. yeah rogue legacy yeah. though like uh, like the fun thing was that like i uh, like i had trouble with the first two bosses so i was like okay i need to uh, like you know be like i need to outstart them rather than like Uh, so i so i gr- grinded a lot and that me- meant the final boss was actually ridiculously easy i beat it on my first try so so that was weird like i overleveled myself basically oh wow i thought you could only do that in pokemon no they do scale the like they do scale the boss stats according to level so it's not like if you are level 100 then like you you like stomp over the boss but it was right. still easier because because i had like abilities and stuff uh well i i've come to realize uh in terms of uh roguelikes which i love that i do prefer my roguelikes more tactical than twitch cuz a i don't have the time to invest to like really perfect uh the twitch uh, required and uh b i'm just suck at twitch anyway so there's that <laughs> Yeah. But uh what else have you guys been playing anything else that's been pretty interesting? Cuz mm. I've been playing Evolve the big alpha which was released like last week, we last weekend. Yep. So mm, the game is pretty good in my opinion. A lot of people didn't really enjoy the game, but I really had a lot of fun. Okay, well uh, when you say a lot of people haven't enjoyed it, uh Do you mean like just general reviews and stuff, or like people you know who haven't really had fun with it? Uh, general reviews because a lot of people didn't really get the keys to the big alpha, so none of my okay. friends uh, did get them. So 
I don't know about them, but I was reading reviews on social networking sites and stuff, and they're like, oh, we didn't enjoy the game, we didn't like it much. I will say that maybe the reason they didn't really enjoy it was because there is mm-hmm. a difficulty curve. It's a very steep right. difficulty curve. Uh, so if okay. you're like if you're like new to the game, and uh, initially when I played, uh, I, there were like a lot of people. Okay, some people were pretty high up in levels. Uh, so I was not that high. I was around three level three or something. So mm-hmm. it got a little hard, especially if the monster was someone who has been playing since some time. So okay. It's basically uh, if you're a noob. to the game you might have a lot of difficulty playing it initially okay yeah so that's oh, the whole sorry. thing i mean it it really depends on the team so if even one person goes down you know there's a, you you're basically in big trouble oh yeah. but uh you you've had a chance to play on both sides right monsters and humans yeah i did play as the monster like twice and i was so bad at it <laughs> <laughs> People were like, "Who the hell is this person? Just kick him out!" And I'm like, "Oh, lala." <laughs> so, uh, playing the no, monster was actually, actually tough. I think, yeah, I think initially it's going to be hard because initially, I, I don't think right now you get enough time to actually hide as the monster. And I think every monster in that game has different abilities, and you have to. It yes. takes a while to figure out how to how to use those abilities. Yes, to... exactly. Uh, I played against. Yeah. Uh, the goliath which is the normal monster uh, the okay. first monster that was actually revealed and then there was this one guy who was actually who had unlocked the kraken so the kraken is actually quite tough yeah i heard there actually a monster in the game where if you shoot it it actually gets more powerful what how do you kill it i have no idea like you heal it you heal it <laughs> you need a <laughs> the healer sun comes out this is yeah, actually you... interesting like i have Uh, also, how di- how different is playing this game compared to Left 4 Dead? Because these guys made Left 4 Dead, right? Uh, okay. So classes are very important. Uh, like okay. you have four classes in it. There's an assault person, and there's a support person. There's a trapper and a medic. So they're very important. Yeah. So if your medic goes down, obviously no one can heal you, and then you are anyway screwed. If the trapper goes down, you know the trapper what it, he does is he creates a arena okay he basically creates a wall around the monster and the monster can go out of that place so it's very easy to you know keep him in one place otherwise he's quite fast and he can like disappear completely okay yeah so if he goes down then you don't know where that monster will run off containment becomes hard it's yeah. that's, that's that's a big difference from left for dead actually because left for dead doesn't have classes at all yeah uh, Uh, like I I don't know maybe it's because I played Left 4 Dead a little too much that I did not have a problem playing it even if I was the only person left I've fin- uh, reached the safe house many times even if I was the only person so in normal mode I mean and then difficulty there is no difficulty level in this it's just how good you are that's it it totally depends on the player it's just two player dependent that's what I felt all right. Uh, like yeah, I think it, it seems like a game that's definitely uh, if if you're not amazing, the minute you're dropped in, you're gonna have trouble making friends playing this because people will be screaming at you, saying oh, yeah. what the hell are you doing? Yeah, especially when once the monster reaches stage three, that's when even if one guy dies or you know is downed, you are you are you will not win the game. I don't think you will. I mean, it's very hard to win it then. Hmm. Because stage three, pay he has like a huge health bar and he has a huge armor bar as well. So first you have to deplete its armor and then you have to deplete its, deplete its health. And sounds like it, basically a boss fight once it's stage three. Yeah, uh, and then there are like two missions, two things that come up. So once the monster reaches stage three, he can destroy this generator or a power relay or whatever you can you want to call it. They call a power. Uh, they call it a power relay. so he can destroy that so it's it becomes a tower defense game in a way afterwards huh. hmm. oh, so and you, then you're he can trying to keep him from it yeah and then he can also kill all the teammates so okay so 
another thing like okay fine the monster gets stronger as the game goes forward like mm. keeps going ahead mm. what about the the classes individually can they get stronger or like it is just basically every game you play your per, you personally level up a little bit and you get like unlock stuff is that uh, how it works i think you unlock only after you've finished that particular game i figured yeah, yeah so the level progression the player progression is all afterwards so there's nothing i don't think there was anything where uh, the player gets stronger in the in the midst of the game you know okay yeah, like other than the monster the monster yeah you don't strong. yeah you don't even get health packs like the monster can heal if he eats something but the player can't unless he has a medic around so you without and, a medic you guys are just screwed yeah totally and uh, even in the medic so there is there are two medics uh, that i managed to unlock the first was the default medic called val uh, and the other was lazarus so if when i unlocked lazarus he can bring people back to life uh, if they die but uh, the medic uh, sorry val can only heal people so if a person dies she can't really do anything but lazarus can so mm. oh so uh, like how many uh, how many player ca- like cho- how many choices of player character are there for the hunter see you can only play as four people uh, they lo- i mean one of each class will always be there yeah, okay. yeah. so you can't have like two medics in the same uh, game you can't have yeah, that yeah but how many each class are there to choose from uh, uh abhi tak to there were two only uh, i think they'll have three or four eventually once the game is released finally that each Sounds one will have its own like uh, different variation so yeah, one medic have... could just heal and the other could bring people back to life but not heal yeah yeah okay. he can heal them he can heal them but it's not a continuous process like if you remember in T- team fortress 2 the medic has this medi gun okay which once yeah. he presses it he continuously keep you he- keep on healing you right so yeah. val can do that but lazarus oh, oh. can only do a healing burst no. Yeah, he's okay. a one-time healer, and you have to be in that particular area when he does the healing burst. Otherwise, you might not get it. Okay, so okay. it's an area. Of, okay, that's interesting. The yeah. class by class distinction that they're doing is really really fun. Uh, yeah, and then you get perks as well. So there are some perks in which uh, you can, uh, you know, you can your jetpack uh, refuels faster, or your cy- uh, weapons cycle faster. they also recharge faster so there are certain perks that you can use but uh, for now we were only able to use one perk per game hmm. huh. and huh. there's no uh, i'm i'm really hoping your answer is no there is no you can call in an air strike there's none of that in this right no you can if you are the support i think if you are the support you can call in an air strike but it's air not ha huh, but it's not exactly like bahut kuch aayega just but it it is quite powerful if it hits okay. the monster on the spot if he's standing on you know the x uh, wala spot uh, it can dam- deal a lot of damage to the monster oh that's good yeah so i did not play yeah. as the support or the trapper i only played as the assault and the medic mostly the medic and like a couple of times as the monster so i am more aware of what the medic was because i had a lot of fun playing as the medic so one of the guns that the medic has are armor piercing uh, sniper guns So if he's if the monster is far off, you can basically zoom in and you know pierce his armor. So that can help in uh, decreasing his armor faster. So lots okay. of stuff. I mean, each Super each. I'm excited to play this now that yeah. you talked. You told me what it is. It yeah. sounds like a really really fresh new take on co-op. It it co-op is. It does. But so then, I, yeah, like. I, I'm but on the other to... side yeah it was on the other side if you're new to the game you might have a lot of trouble breaking into the game because again the difficulty this... level is too much you have to play this with friends this is not a game you want to play with strangers because strangers will be pissed off at you within yeah, 5 or, minutes or maybe you'll just get some losers you know will be like i mean in yeah. left for dead you can still manage to if you have a, a loser or two uh, in your like, team you have to play this with friends because if you're playing as humans in this game yeah. coordination is everything Yeah. You yeah. everybody has to move in a certain way as soon as you get into a level. Oh, oh by to... the way, how many levels are there? How much what? How many levels are there? Uh we played I think there were three maps in this. <laughs> and there were huge maps, okay? There were huge maps. Uh, and and cool. the thing is, and the thing is 
there is danger not only from the monster but there are wildlife around there is wildlife around and even some plants are carnivorous so you have to like watch where you step <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is just, yeah, this is this is gonna be a uh, like a blast to play. Oh yes, uh, I mean there was so I, many times when I had to like rescue someone who was caught in a plant or something because no one else was coming. I okay, chalo, theek hai, bichari ki help kar do. I'm the medic after all, <laughs> so you know that was that was there. But it was fun, you know. I mean, not only does the mon- can the monster hurt you, but other plants and animals can, and even they can uh, hurt the monster. Oh okay uh, nice yeah like it, yeah it sounds like uh, the 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 trapper and uh, the trapper in the like the trapper i think early game maybe not so much but late game if they've done their job properly they're probably one of the key classes to yeah. play as because the trapper uh, also has this uh, thing called uh, harpoons or something in which what he does is he'll place harpoons all over the place and if the monster comes within range the harpoon will sort of trap him so he's one of his arms or legs or limbs will basically get caught in it and he has to break that harpoon thingy this, before he can yeah, proceed yeah it's phenomenal this is basically like a uh, this this is a uh... They just uh, like I don't know, I, I don't know I think Arvind has died because he's like why are these people I'm talking about yeah. it? I'm listening. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> to me, it just seems like uh, like something that has a very like a uh, high barrier to entry, and mm. like seems like the teamwork is a lot more enforced than Left 4 Dead. Yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, but I, and yeah, I, like I, I wonder about the longevity I, of this. Like, I think if you're playing at a at a certain level, if you're playing. past if you're not playing a normal difficulty if you're playing past normal difficulty you have to play as a team in left for dead otherwise it doesn't work you die very quickly uh like it, it, it's very very hard to survive a left for dead uh, like campaign when uh, any level in a left for dead campaign past normal first five minutes if you're playing in hard difficulty according to me i've ne- okay i'll be honest here i've never played the hard difficulty and i very rarely played the advanced difficulty it was i mean once i had a break with left for dead when i rejoined play, uh, when i replayed the game i just couldn't uh, play in advanced because the damage is just too high uh, i generally play i i like i i played normal and i played a lot of hard mm-hmm. and in hard it it gets it is it is a team game when you're yeah. playing hard yeah and your team needs to know what they're doing uh I don't see a problem in terms of barrier to entry, but I definitely think that yeah, initially it's a game that you're definitely going to want to play with your friends before playing so, with strangers. So here's the thing. So like I mentioned initially when I had played the game, uh, like when I started it on Friday or whatever. So the uh, there were some people who were pretty high up. They were like level seven, eight, nine, ten, and I was around level two, three. and i noticed that afterwards you know around saturday sunday or whatever um, i noticed that whenever i was joining a game they made sure that i was that the other players were of the same level as me or uh, you know near to the level as i was so maybe okay. that would actually work out to be quite nice if they yeah. would somehow think- cap the levels or something well no i think they're doing which is something which is pretty standard in games like this which is ensuring that uh you always the matchups uh, are always fair you don't end up with someone who's ridiculously more powerful than you are yeah uh, yeah and uh, then then the expectations game also changes right then because the level 30 guy will look at you and go oh, what are you doing here uh, <laughs> that's what happened with me <laughs> yeah so, so hopefully when, in the final like i mean this sounds insane like it's basically predator it is basically a Playable version of the movie Predator, and uh, like it is a survival. Oh, no. uh, it's it's not. It can't be until there is a helicopter that you have to get to as the humans. If if that's not there, it's not Predator. With with someone sh- shouting, get to the chopper. Yeah, precisely. Unless you have that dialogue in the game, it's just <laughs> not Predator. They could make so, a. Vivek, like, they could adapt Titanfall to this. Like just have like four players versus one Titan, something like that. <laughs> like, It's not as uh, fun because the monster also of, has abilities. Like Goliath can, you, you have to choose in the beginning of the game once you're the monster, right? So you have to choose yeah. whether you want to have fire breath or whether you want to crush your crush your, the hunters with a rock, or whether you want to have a charged uh, run, 
or uh, what was the other one? Yeah, it was a leap. So you leap and you land on the people who are trying to hunt you, and you can flatten them out. So the, these were the four abilities of Goliath. I do, I'm not sure about Kraken, but Kraken was really tough. Hmm. It's, it's he like shoots these he shoots these bubble thingies, which are like they'll just keep chasing you around. Okay. Huh. Yeah. So that was I did not really get what the the Kraken's things was uh, you know the powers were because it was just once or twice that I played uh, with a Kraken in the game. Otherwise, it was mostly okay. Goliath. Mm-hmm. But Sounds I'm pretty right. excited about I'm pretty excited about the game, and I don't know I I know this that I'll have a lot of fun playing it, even if it's like if, if even if it doesn't last too much. Uh, yeah, I I think uh, it'll be fun. Like I think initially I'm going to die a lot, but once I get the hang of it, it, it'll be fun. Like it's I, definitely... died, I died so much, okay. But then eventually I started getting the hang. I played the the big alpha was for around four days. I think they extended it, so it was four days. And the fourth day, I can I I mean I was having a lot of fun. I knew what exactly I was to be done. I was healing people. I was taking on my tranquilizer and you know shooting at the monster. And I was doing all the things that I'm supposed to. So yeah, uh-huh. it does take getting used to, but. I I mean four days was like it took me four days so I think it was pretty good. I spent a total of eight hours I think on the game. Yeah, I mean if you, if I think about how much time I sunk into Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, I I definitely I'm, think I I'm, I'm around three hundred hours for Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, not wow. reached three hundred, but yeah, almost three hundred. That's awesome. Uh. Anyway, I think Arvind has met it now because... <laughs> no, I'm, I'm listening. We're I'm just like, I don't... Much. Yeah. Yeah, this, like, this I don't have a much, talk, you know, like... Uh, stuff yeah, it's like, like, I haven't played it. I haven't even, like, seen a bunch of YouTube videos of it. So, like, I I don't, like... Yeah. Don't... <laughs> I can't visualize what the game is like, basically. Ah. Well, we it's, can send you a link. It's, Predator without get to the chopper. Damn it. So then what's the point? Like, why even exactly. have this game? <laughs> because you hunt a monster. No, no, yeah. Like, I'm just saying, like, it's a predator game. <laughs> no, it's just. We're, yeah. We're, yeah. Uh, that sounds awesome. I'm, I'm oh, and there are some wild, uh, wild animals that if you kill them, they give you, like, a power up. Uh, the entire team, I think, gets a power up, so that's pretty fun. Like, if you kill a elite animal, you know, he'll give a power up, and you can pick it up, and then you have fun with it. That so that okay, that sounds weird. Like, what happens? You kill it, and like a box pops out, like Mario. No, and... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just it just shows that uh, there's a indicator on top of the dead body that okay, there's something here. Pick up the buff. Press E to pick up the buff. So, okay, so it's like a mushroom. The fire mushroom comes out of the monster and then everybody eats the, yes. a, a dead monster's like something they found in a dead monster's intestine that it makes the fire. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. And sounds it and then it's usually like, you know, fifty percent your uh, movement speed increases by fifty percent or something like that. Usually those those kind of things. Cool. But still they need to give some health packs. Even if, you know, suppose the Medic is down. Uh, they need to have some health packs, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with a with an asymmetrical multiplayer, it's like balancing is going to be a nightmare. Like, because there's just so many uh, uh, like variables. You know, like the monster could have this one ability, which was which like completely changes the the game, makes it way too powerful. But then, like one of the classes could have an <coughs> overpowered ability. So yeah, it's a yeah, it is a bit of like, I imagine it's going to be like, because I heard that they were like planning to make this competitive or something. Like, I don't know. Uh, like, they're thinking about it, uh, yeah. I, how would they make it competitive? Like what, score more points than the other person? I don't know. Yeah, like, that would, know. Think of it that this way, might that just you, spoil it. Uh, no, but th- th- think of it this way. You have teams of uh, four, right? And you have four round matches where 
uh, you know, they take turns being on a human and the opposite team chooses one dude to be a monster. And then, yeah, you call, uh, whoever has the highest points by the end of it or something. That's like, that's kind of oh. like Tom Shiraz, you know, like you send one pill player from your team and then he gets to act out <laughs> a movie and you have to guess it, no? <laughs> well, I don't know. Okay, I, I didn't see that analogy, but now that you've mentioned it. I did not see that analogy coming either, but it, it is, uh, weirdly enough, I think in terms of rules, she's absolutely correct. I know, right? Like, But it's just so out there. I'm still kind of yeah. dealing with the, wow, dumb shreds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think she broke the podcast. I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> I can't get this out of my head now. It's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of like, competitive evolve is like charades. I know, right? Pro gaming is I like think you all need to hear this. 2K games need to hear this. <laughs> no, but I can, I definitely see the potential for theater because it, like the premise of this game is very, very similar to, to Predator. So like, it, it definitely has the quality of being an interesting esport. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you, if you can like set up a bunch of television screens and show four guys running through a jungle while mm-hmm. like a fifth guy is hunting them, mm-hmm. there is potential to make that exciting. But then again, I would never have guessed that StarCraft 2 and StarCraft 1 would be these huge money juggernaut type esports that are watched by millions of people around the earth. I mean, so you, could have, like, you could have guessed Star Wars, StarCraft 1, but StarCraft 2, like anyone could have guessed that. Like, yeah, yeah, no, Star- StarCraft 1, I, I wouldn't have guessed. And neither, I wouldn't have guessed the same about League of Legends and Dota 2 either. Yeah, they, you know, they, they, the, the idea was that they would be popular to play as multiplayer, but to become, like, the esports that they are now, that, you know, a few years yeah. ago, you wouldn't have thought of that. Like, it's, it, it, it's just... The point where I, I think they just spent more time watching League of Legends matches than playing League stream. Thank he actually plays the game. Yeah, uh, I met possibly. a friend today and he, even he was mentioning that he enjoys spectating more than uh, playing the game. Dota 2 he plays. He's like uh, totally addicted to Dota 2 and he told me that, you know, you don't need to play it if you don't want to, but you you should watch the matches and I'm like, okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, like for the spectator stuff, a lot of this is like, uh, like if you know the basic rules, then you can enjoy mm-hmm. playing it. But like, to someone like me, watching these matches is a bit weird because, like, something's happening, like, somebody, like, everyone is just, like, whacking small monsters, somebody goes away, and then, like, suddenly, 20 minutes later, oh, they are in an unassailable lead and they've won. So, I'm like, what? So, so you need a, a knowledge of the rules to figure out which team is in the lead. Like, like sports, you know, like, if you don't know about cricket and you show somebody a cricket match, they'll be like, what's going on? What? What? How how is yeah, this fielder I, here, but not there? So, I, I agree with that sentiment. But uh, on the other side, like if you were interested in watching something, like or un- understanding it, the commentary generally is good enough for uh, where it does start to explain things. And like uh, maybe like if you watch cricket over time, I've noticed probably with cricket it's a bit less where no one's gonna be like, oh, it's a leg before because this. But you get the general uh, premise of what's going on. But because uh, esports are generally new right now, most of them, you know, uh, most of the commentators still take the time out every now and then to like explain that, you know, uh, these are important aspects. Um, okay. And that could be what, you know, can really help uh, evolve out too. Like, you know, if, uh, you know, like what uh, Vivek was uh, saying is that, uh, you know, you have, it, it does look awesome when you're seeing all these different perspectives of the hunters and then you switch to the monster and then switch back. It, it does set up that whole tension. So there's potential there. Um, and I'm, I'm just wondering though, but about, you know, how, what sort of commentary you would want uh, going along with that. Yeah, like, I mean, that's, that's, it, it doesn't work at the level of some, like, I think, I don't know what kind of people, like, I don't know the, the uh, like, a lot of people watch League of Legends and a lot of people watch the StarCraft 2 tournament. And those yeah. are not simple games to parse. They're nope. fairly complex. When they're being played at the level that, that it's being streamed to the whole world, those mm-hmm. are fairly complex games to understand what the hell is going on here. Uh so I don't know, maybe like Evolve is probably a much, much more simpler narrative of what's happening. 
Wait, you but... have you have people commenting uh, during esport games like Dota and stuff. Like you yeah. know how Navjot Singh's yeah, Dota's that... commentary. Yep. Yeah, really? no, I mean like <laughs> no, they, no I mean, without like, that it, was, it would be very. There's running commentary going on for all those games. Yeah, yeah. If any esport. It's like any legitimate sport. You have proper commentators. You know, you have like you know replays and slow mos yeah. and whatnot. Ah, slow mos yeah. and all I get, but I was not aware, and, and I'm pleasantly surprised about the whole commentary thing over this. Yeah, yeah. There is a lot of drama also revolving around the teams and this guy is such a guy. Wow, all that be here. Ah, oh, so I think. Hey, there's even been match fixing. Uh, some Dota team uh, a month ago yeah. was uh, was in the news yeah, about yeah. fixing. It's through a game. Oh, would yeah. they be caught for steroids? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think they'd be caught for steroids, but they'd be caught for taking any kind of substance that can increase their focus or concentration for it. Mm. Mountain Dew is bad. <laughs> or no Mountain Dew, no Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, uh, no. It was just like straight up money. Like our team took money to lose, basically. So, hmm. uh, but yeah, like uh, no. I mean, for for me at least, like if I'm, I watched a few videos and like if, if without commentary, I'd be lost because who okay. like with commentary is what makes it interesting. Otherwise, it's just like somebody playing a game, and it's not even like uh, like it's a walkthrough or something. So you get like ah, uh, that's over. It's just like hmm. the game, you know. So. I see. So yeah, uh, yeah. Like hopefully, like once, uh, like uh, you know, like, like once the sort of rules become a bit more mainstream, then it helps because, like for example, even if like somebody doesn't know baseball, but like they can still like be like, okay, a home run. So it's like six or in cricket, sort of. Yeah, so, I, I get it. I mean, even I would be pretty lost mm-hmm. if I suddenly joined a Dota two session and I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Yeah, I get yeah. it. Huh. Oh yeah, there's been another news like this, uh, like just like Mass Effect is gonna be remastered, like again. Did they Not again. <sighs> Seriously? God. Yeah. No, did they <laughs> stop remastering stuff? What is this? A remastered console edition or something? Yeah, PS4 and edition. Xbox One. I'm and glad I didn't buy a PS4 or something. Just like... <sighs> I I I'm I'm gonna get a PS4 eventually. Uh, hopefully by the time the library is. is good but right now you know honestly right now wii u has the best library of all four con- of all three consoles up there because mm-hmm. bayonetta 2 has released and it's on wii <laughs> mm. yeah but bayonetta? yeah no it's just uh, like i guess this is like one of the like now definitely like we won't see backwards compatibility in any future consoles because now like companies know that like they can just re-release re- remastered editions yeah yeah, yeah. it's a huge people are actually buying it you know this is what is yeah. really frustrating like people are actually you know paying 60 dollars for remastered game like why man come on honestly <laughs> I, you know on a certain on a certain level i think it's also going to lead to more degradable like games over time like right now actually if you have a good NES and you have good cartridges. You can play those NES games on your TV. Mm, yeah. You figure out a way to plug your NES into your TV, into a TV mm. that still allows you to plug an NES into it. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. But I think over time, uh, uh, one of the results of of what we're talking about will be that like console manufacturers and game publishers will start producing games that you don't like. Right, anyway, right now the ownership of games is something that's very contentious. Like, I mean, you look at of... uh, like digital downloads, the cloud. That's what's gonna happen, right? Like, like for example, like Xbox Live. Like, w- if the new one comes up, then they actually have incentive to shut the old one down for the old <laughs> console. So, so, I don't know. Like, I mean, so will it be a situation that with every console, like, like your titles, basically, like you don't own any of the titles that you own. With the previous console, you have to buy them. And... I don't know. Yeah. That would be a weird thing to have. I mean, like they they did it for Last of Us too, which was like at the end of the console generation, right? Uh, yeah. PS3, but like again, it's. I think that was just to get Last of Us. Like, I think that was just to bolster PS4's library. Honestly, honestly. <laughs> uh, I I think we're going to see a lot more good PS3 games come on PS4 because PS4 
like all the other like like Xbox One, the library yeah. is is decent, but it's not great. Yeah, I can't wait for like Shadow of the Colossus and Echo to release again, like before Last Guardian. Oh God, shut up, man! Last Guardian. <laughs> going to come out I, 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 I mean <laughs> I want to buy a PS4 and all this because of uncharted so but that doesn't yeah, mean they, that I want to buy the games again you know uncharted 2 3 4 2 2 and 3 of the release it on the PS4 no, I I don't yeah. know I don't want to buy those games again mm-hmm. but it's then it's going to be weird because you know what like they're going to do ratchet and crank uh, ratchet and clank the whole series Remastered. Man, that's going to be tough. Like I don't know about that. Like part of the appeal I bet for the EA for EA and stuff is that Mass Effect is still relatively recent, so they won't have to spend much effort, like you know, recompiling it and stuff. That's at least what I think. Uh, especially because like the newer ar- console architecture is way, very similar to like laptops. Compared to like well, the I, previous I consoles, think, yeah, I think the last trilogy should be easy enough, easy enough to remaster because it's on PS3. Mm. But the new one will be harder. The old one will be harder because that's all PS2. Mm. Mm. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I don't know. Yeah, this 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 generation's like buzzword is remastered. Like I can't wait to like for the like next consoles to come up and then Ubisoft just gonna remaster Watch Dogs. And pretend like anyone actually day. wants that. Uh, like there was this this joke, you know, जैसे बोलते हैं ना PC uh, PC yeah. master race बोलते हैं तो console remaster race चल रहा है आजकल. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, that's I mean, that's what is going on यार कोई new games तो आ नहीं रहे. Oh, which reminds they're me. Not, they're not they're not very good. I mean the last like I mean the first. Like I mean, we talked about Shadow of Mordor. That's the first game to come out this generation that I can gem for next mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. That has this, but like I'm waiting for more. So mm-hmm. hopefully, yeah. get more. Yeah, like, I guess. I don't know. Uh, like the way I would put it is that like games are more competent. Like all of them are more competent, but like none of them are like stand out. Like there's there like most of the games are where like okay yeah shooting is good, like movement is good, but like nothing is really stand out. It's just Because become the like has, has gone really really high, you know. Now, mm. uh, no, I think I don't not... think like the bar has gone high. What's happened is that like basic functionality is no longer an achievement, you know. Like it's not just like like in the PS2 era and stuff. Like especially you'd have games where like even the basic movement was a chore, just getting a character from A to B. Now, like yeah. at least like people seem to have figured out like the basics. So now, so like an equivalent to like the a movie would be that yeah, like they they the camera isn't pointing at like five feet away from the actors, or like in terms of the book, okay, it's not like like half of the pages are missing, something like that. So well, now, yeah, like, I mean, like in the movie, the sim- the simple example is like you know for the longest time movies were silent, and now like initially they, for a while, they, <laughs> yeah, now like I mean everyone's used to sound in films, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, So it's at the same point where I think PS3, Xbox 360 was the first generation where everyone just kind of got used to the competence being mm. there for everything. Like at a certain level, everything was competent. Yeah. Uh, and that, 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 I think uh, you know now this generation it will have to be not just competent. Everything will have to be equal to get mm. uh, Yeah, a lot more yeah. focus will again like uh, be placed on the. Like sort of a, a more higher level mechanics, you know. Like it's not just like like nobody is gonna be like yeah, shooting is fine. Weapons like there are ten different types of weapons. Good, eight out of ten. Now like you have to have like some in like for Shadow of Mordor had the Nemesis thing and the uh, yeah. the unique orcs and stuff like that. Like nobody was like even even though the like it gets like re- very easy twenty hours in or so and but at least hey there's like parkour in it. So and the parkour is well done. So yeah, good good on yeah. you, ninety five. So so yeah, and like the poor guy's wife was killed. What? <laughs> and the poor guy's wife. Oh was yeah. Killed oh him. right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I forgot that actually happened. Yeah, it's just so forgettable. Like. <laughs> I still remember how they killed Ezio's uh, Ezio's brother, brothers and father. 
and here i am i don't even remember how like what happened to the wife and the kid and whatever yeah what well, happened first three minutes man their throats get slit by the black hand oh ah theek hai i know but matlab <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my, I mean, my point is yeah yeah they, they sh- it's it's mem- yeah. yeah it's not memorable at all i yeah. agree 100% it's not memorable yeah. at all and uh, it, that's because they don't invest any time in it uh yeah मतलब मुझे मुझे लड़ने का कोई सेंस नहीं मतलब मेरे को समझ नहीं आता कि मैं इस बंदे से क्यों लड़ रही हूं वंस यू यू नो सी हिम इन द एंड एंड ओ माय गॉड डोंट गेट मी स्टार्टेड धर्मेंद्र रीजन राइट कुत्ते कमीने में तेरा आई मीन यू नो लाइक द द फनी थिंग इज दैट लाइक इन दैट केस लाइक लाइक देयर इज दिस मूवी व्हिच लाइक आई हैवेंट सीन बट आई हैव लाइक हर्ड अबाउट द प्लॉट लाइक जॉन विक in which like the main character's motivation is that the villain killed his dog that yeah. would actually have been better That's... like that would I, have been better i would kill anybody who would do that to my dog and wo bhi main apne nagar ke niche us ko kuchalungi you know <laughs> john wick is pretty straightforward like yeah. in that regard I mean, it's like, kind I'll... of funny but... <laughs> yeah they pretty much just went like oh yeah we can't figure out a motivation so, yeah, his dog died yeah whatever yeah <laughs> I mean, yeah. look, no, movies like it's... snakes on a plane. <laughs> okay, so this makes <laughs> much more sense. <laughs> okay, you know, snakes on a plane is a phenomenal auteur work. I don't know what <laughs> problem it has, uh, but anyway, snakes on a plane is a work of art. Uh, John Wick's probably good too. I've heard it's like a fun action film, and it doesn't pretend to be anything else. Yeah. So I probably enjoy it. The uh, best is I heard from it that like. If you want to kill Liam Liam Neeson in Taken, you call John Wick. Like that's the best phrase that I've heard. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's <laughs> that's wow. hype, man. Yeah. Holy crap! Oh, that guy was seriously looking for blood, huh? <laughs> oh, which reminds me, I I finished Blood Dragon as well. So yeah. Oh, oh what did you think so of it? Uh, I think it's a pretty good game, and the end was pretty creepy. It was it was what fun. happens in it? Although the in what in the uh, end what happened like... in the end like uh, so okay so the, there was not exactly any boss fight but towards the end okay which is what makes it worth it like a door opens like uh, a door opens so you're going to basically fight the bad guy okay but before that uh, a door opens and there's this blood dragon standing with armor and he's like i'm your ride <laughs> and that was like that made it you know worth it so you ride the blood dragon and you shoot everything in your way and it shoots out lasers and stuff like that it was pretty fun that part was like the best thing ever <laughs> <laughs> uh so end mein basically um, you don't really kill that guy but wo ek quick time event type ka kuch ho jata hai so he kills the person and uh, there's something weird going on with dr darling So I mean, they just show uh, in the end. They show her uh, looking at you creepily with like pink eyes, and she's smiling this really evil smile. So something wrong with her. <laughs> I don't know what. Wow. Maybe Slade became Doctor Darling. I don't know. <laughs> But it was one of the cheesiest games ever, and I don't know. I just really had a good time playing it right till the end. मतलब जब वो ब्लड ड्रैगन मिला ना या लाइक व्हेन यू गेट दैट ब्लड ड्रैगन यू राइड ओके सो यू जस्ट प्रेस वन वन बटन आई वाज प्लेइंग इट विद माउस सो द लेफ्ट माउस बटन आई जस्ट केप्ट होल्डिंग इट एंड देयर वाज इनफाइनाइट मशीन गन एमो विद यू सो ही जस्ट शूट एवरीथिंग दैट इज इन योर पाथ एंड दे हैव लाइक पुट अ लॉट ऑफ बैरल्स फायर एक्सप्लोसिव बैरल्स ऑल ओवर द प्लेस सो यू जस्ट शूट एट देम एंड यू नो it's like diwali <laughs> <laughs> and you know and then he's like the, the dragon says that i have i'm a blood dragon and i shoot fucking lasers out of my fucking eyes and you know he just suddenly becomes cyclops and start shooting at everything that comes at you uh, <laughs> towards you so that was like awesome I was like yeah he's so okay for fun and all of part by three oh, it is i i've never ha- I've never had so much fun playing any recent game. जितना मैंने इतना enjoy किया उस game को. 
I don't know. It felt like kind of okay. like the Pacific like, Rim of why, movies. Why does Far Cry Four like why isn't this Far Cry Four? I don't know. Why do we Why are we back to Far Cry Three's stupid? Because Let's go to this. this because this was kind of like a side project that was just there for kicks and fun, really. Like you know, they didn't want to, uh, uh, I guess, support this in a way. Um, but I think was, a lot of people too, said it. Uh, it was much better. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I uh, guess it was just too left field. Like, I, 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 gen- I genuinely want to know what happens in these like uh, board boardrooms and such because like. Like Blood Dragon isn't exactly like what do you call like a left field project, you know? It's like oh yeah, everyone's nostalgic for the '80s, and like mm-hmm. it's it's using like very recognizable cultural touchstones, yeah, like Power yeah. Rangers, that sort of thing. It's not like exactly like nobody has heard yeah. where the reference, but but it was still sort of deemed to be too risky to be given the full Far Cry Four treatment. So I don't know. But like towards like, like towards the end, you know, in most action movies in the eighties and stuff, you know, mm-hmm. they would they would show the hero practicing kung fu alone mm-hmm. on a cliff. Literally, वो सब था इसमें. जितना cheesy you can think, <laughs> and such cheesy dialogues. Oh my god! <laughs> uh-huh. Like there's actually What? this one scene in which Doctor Darling and this guy Rex, whatever his name is, he they're like making it, making out, and वो इतने बकवास dialogue बोल रही होती है. Like, <laughs> oh my god! I just kept laughing for like uh-huh. half an hour. Yeah. इतने बकवास dialogue थे इसमें. I mean, I I only got to like uh, like. 5000% better than Far Cry 3 which i beat and i think <laughs> uh, no so i was saying like like usually like dialogue in like most video games is like cheesy and bad anyway but like it's uh, it's yeah. it's given with a like air of straightness it's like uh, everyone is serious like in shadow of mordor like dialogue is very bad but like everyone is super serious about it but at least in this like it's yeah it's it's cheesy to make you laugh so at least that's like one positive thing Uh, it's it's always better when you're laughing with not laughing at uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah like, like there's I, actually this one moment you know when they're making out kaise bolte hai doctor darling uh, but you're still a 100% man at least the parts that matter <laughs> and i think like, what oh, wow <laughs> 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 i was literally out of it uh, at that time <laughs> Oh wow! That yeah, that is totally eighties movie dialogue. Yeah, that I I wonder if I've actually heard it in one of in one or two like movies because yeah, like <laughs> that is and like actually she's talking 80s, about how yeah. he's he's a uh, cybernetic soldier and stuff like that. And suddenly oh. she's like, but you're still hundred percent man. At least the parts that matter. I'm like wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there was this really cool teenage ninja uh, TMNT. a uh, reference in uh, this game really so yeah so like you get this is like a side mission and usme hota hai ki there are some uh, turtles that are in the sewer and they're blocking the way or something as you you get a side mission so you have to hunt turtles and i got theek hai yaar what the hell to hunt turtles for heaven's sake so i went to a uh, the sewage plant kind of a place main niche gayi and there were like pizza boxes all around with like slices oh, so lying deep. around I'm like wait okay this is like I immediately got the reference I'm like oh is it is, is this going to be what I think it is and then I finally reached the first turtle and when I see it it uske eyes pe na they actually made a blue uh, like a blue thing it's like uh, kiska hota hai blue wala who I don't remember the name unfortunately Leonardo. Yeah, Leonardo. So suddenly I, I like all the turtles there were like four turtles in, in there and they were all you know red uh, blue purple and orange wale pura tm and uh, tm nt wale that is was like pretty awesome. that was so cool did you kill them yes you <laughs> have to kill them <laughs> <laughs> i feel bad i didn't want to kill them i didn't want to kill them but then i had to <laughs> didn't have a choice that's that's what all murderers say <laughs> 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 uh yeah sounds awesome i don't know like uh, the, the best part about this is that you don't need far cry 3 to play this you can just it's a stand alone yeah. thing yeah hmm fire of the zone it's it's war, way like, better than you after, yeah, after playing far cry 3 i was done with far cry 
See, like, I was done with Far Cry this period. Yeah, like, like one thing which I don't like again, like even in like mod or a little bit at least, is you know those long ass upgrade trees. But like the game mm. essentially like to for the game to be fun you first have to be at least 50% in the upgrade tree so your ability mm. so you get like so you get some abilities and your the abilities that you have actually have high damage so yeah mm. like i don't yeah. like that like like why why do i first need like just because you want to like shoehorn the xp rpg mm. elements in there why do for, i have to slog through the first 10 hours before yeah. the game becomes fun yeah no like i thought i thought it was fun. like i mean i don't i thought the first 15 20 hours were the most fun and the combat was always fun even without you unlocking the new yeah in in modor actually what i did was i like read read the rps review which said that you do like the first five story missions first to get the mm. necessary abilities if i mm. hadn't like read that review i would have been super yeah. pissed because yeah. the first five missions i was very frustrated like with the game so yeah i don't know ha huh. like, even one of my friends mentioned he said i'm having a tough time playing this game ye wo ye wo then i just told him why don't you use the bow to silently kill as many enemies as possible and he's like wait do you have a bow and i'm like yeah <laughs> so he didn't even know ki you know ek, like you have a hmm. bow in which you use it and stuff like that hmm. oh and one other thing that was pretty cool about blood dragon was <laughs> so i discovered this by accident okay so usually what happens is um, on the keyboard the key f okay it's basically like you do a melee attack so if you're sneaking behind a person if you press f he'll take that person down okay so so once what happened this blood dragon just came in front of me and i was uh, not crouched at that moment so he saw me okay and he was basically in attack mode so i panicked because it was i was pretty new to the game and i have just basically started pressing keys okay and suddenly i noticed <laughs> maine ek key press kara and he just shows the middle finger to the blood dragon <laughs> i'm like what no, are you, you doing no about that <laughs> no i don't yeah didn't. there is a I dedicated actually... middle finger key yeah yeah, yeah there yeah. is no wo f se f se hi hota hai like if you press f and the enemy is far off he is not in the um, you know in the whatever so he uh, he shows the middle finger to that person and that blood dragon after i showed the middle finger he put lasers into me <laughs> so <it was> really <laughs> <laughs> like i i i had such a great time playing this game you know i would definitely want to replay it or something maybe i might not enjoy it as much but there were so many things to do, uh, that happened in it and did i mention how cheesy the game is <laughs> yes yes you have <laughs> <laughs> man this is this is definitely a really fun game i'm glad i bought it it yeah. def- i i think i do want to try this out actually it seems pretty awesome yeah i i mean i would play it if, if, like right now i'm in i'm in basically in ubisoft withdrawal right now so it's going to be a while before i touch anything else that they they make but i would say that play this game it deserves to be played in my opinion i i i bought it i own far cry 3 uh-huh, blood uh-huh, uh-huh. i'm not going to touch it for a while <laughs> it will be in my but, list but the but the what do you call the some of the missions are quite tough which is yeah. what was amazing yeah yeah they're pretty tough in my opinion hmm so i think it's pretty well balanced and liberating garrisons is always fun i don't know i i find i found it to be one of the best things ever i i i've been meaning to try it out for quite a while but i guess uh i, I think i will actually at some point like uh i'll get the i'll get the file or i'll buy it on steam and uh, play it i mean the there must be some halloween sale or something coming oh, okay halloween sale passed but something some sale must be coming so i'm pretty sure you can like yeah winter sale yeah Okay, when I picked this game up, it was again there was a sale going on, and this was like a total impulse buy. I was like, okay, I bought it, and I'm like looking around, guilty, feeling guilty and stuff, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of fun games, Witcher Three announced like 16 DLCs which are free. Yeah. I read about yeah, that. Okay, uh, yeah, you like, know what? Uh... Most of this is just like minor stuff, like like alternate armor, or like 
stuff mm. stuff like that yeah. so there'll be a couple yeah. of quests in there i'm guessing but uh, like yeah there are some quests there's going to be minor stuff they said that for me for big expansions they will charge money but i mean they said that last time for the witcher 2 and there was never a big expansion for the witcher 2 mm. it didn't yeah, need one but, in my opinion. the witcher 2 did but not like one, uh, but like cd project they do have this like thing where like their games at the start just have really like confusing mechanics in some cases even like outright like unfun mechanics like witcher mm. 2 at the start like the the big patch like which introduced the dark mode and stuff that was what made the combat at, at least like fun for me before that it was just like what like i was like i i disliked it more than witcher 1 because i actually liked witcher 1's combat because it wasn't like you just like click at the right times so it was almost like it's, rhythm it's game one, type definitely more on the turn based kind of things right mm. like i i don't know like turn based but like just like it seem like it requires uh, like sort of it requires timing more than like number of keys mm. which which like is the the sort of thing i like more like as opposed to you know like you are pressing e then you are pressing f then you are pressing r instead of I that, that like, like uh, yeah i don't know that witcher 2's combat is exactly like that i i think it is it is also timing oriented but just in a different way uh uh but yeah I mean, like i, I, I think it's like, definitely uh, it's not as tactical as the first game it is not as yeah. tactical as the first game yeah i mean witcher 2 sure. like i would mm-hmm. like how it worked for me at least was that like 90% of the enemies i would just like mindlessly like just slash at them and like go through then the bosses happened and then bosses are like what i actually have to like dodge and stuff now what the hell is this so then i would die like 500 times before i look up on youtube like how to beat this boss and then youtube tells me then i go back and try repeat it so so at least that's how it went for me hmm Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I I never had a problem in terms of beating the bosses in that game. I like. I mean, I had much more of a problem beating the bosses. One of the bosses in Dragon Dragon Age Two, I think, than I did in The Witcher. That being said, yeah, like I really like The Witcher games, uh, and I'm really looking forward to Witcher Three. I think it's going to be phenomenal. Anybody buying the collector's edition by any chance? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Nah, yeah. I like. I don't it, know. I'm. But, uh, I I I want to, but let's see. It all. Yeah, I mean, I I. Yeah, like Isn't I bought. Isn't it insanely the... expensive? I yeah. actually don't know the price. I know that the it was like one fifty to US dollars, but I don't know the price in India. Like how much it's going to be. I mean, it it's wasn't the, going like... to be available in India initially, but uh, one of my friends was getting it imported from the UK, so he hasn't told me the exact I N R thing. Mm, UK games should be 10, more expensive. Yeah, it's going to be ten thousand bucks, and that's insane. Yeah, one like that—that's a bit that's... too much to pay for like one game. <laughs> but uh, but that statue. <laughs> it might actually just be cheaper to download like you know three a three D model and get it like three D printed. Get it printed in a three D printer somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, you know a three D printer in India? Do you? Do you? Do you? There are there are a bunch actually. Yeah, you yeah, might be like, like uh... able to find some, like at least, or like even like you can just like get somebody to make a cast for you, like old fashioned, like that might even be yep. cheaper. Yeah. If you go to like, uh, if you go to the places where they make uh, like idols of gods and stuff, and you show them this and say, "Maybe this ki murti bana ke denge," they give you a pretty <laughs> good quote. <laughs> yeah, okay, I have to try this thing out. <laughs> But that medallion. <laughs> and, and you have to say, "Mujhe iski murti bana ke denge, please." You know, uh, like there's this place near my house. Um, usme na like they make all these things, okay? They make statues and stuff, and kafi acha bana rahe the wo log. So I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I might try it out. <laughs> I yeah. recommend trying it out. It's- yeah, I mean, definitely, like would would end up being cheaper than. Uh, And like if they if they paint it, it like uh, and stuff, then you can even like uh, because CD Projekt often like uh, like they tweet like like cosplay fan art that kind of thing. So you can send them and like they can tweet it and like your Facebook page can get more likes, etc. Oh so, God! Yeah. <laughs> What was yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, and it's my job to think like that's how you promote stuff, right? So 
That's yeah. Wow. Yeah. Words of wisdom from a Kickstarter entrepreneur. <laughs> What if they sue wow. me? You know, they're like, you know, <laughs> why did you do? No, this? they can't sue you because, uh, like, you may like you put most of the work. What well, they're gonna send a lawyer to India if they do that? Then, like, I'm pretty sure you can beat them because you know Indian court system more than they do. So, mm-hmm. they they are going to apply their Poland wisdom to the court system in India, and like. <laughs> okay, Ar- Arvind, are you seriously saying that they're gonna send a Polish lawyer? <laughs> no, I'm gonna like. No, Rashi asked me like, "Am I going to get sued?" I'm like, "Let's assume you get sued. What happens then?" So, oh, in wow. that case, yeah. This conversation. <laughs> What? It's just hypothetical, you know. Like, <laughs> on that note, maybe we should just end the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Press X to end podcast. Yep. Which? Yep, X. that happened. uh there was actually like this uh a uh, nice article i don't know if you guys read it about uh, like the difference in arkham city versus uh like call of duty arkham city had a similar thing uh huh and if you read it Which... okay no, so what happens is like in arkham city like there is one alley where like the outline of bruce wayne's parents is there because that's where they died so if you go okay. there like if it's very hidden like i didn't find it myself i didn't know it it, it existed Achoo. uh but like somebody knew and then like once the call of duty like everyone started laughing at it then like people were like wait why aren't you laughing at arkham city then so like uh like i think the difference is that one like it's not mandatory and number two like the like your progress is in blocked until you choose to pay respects and third like it bruce wayne is fictional like like the, and like people are more attached like 100 120 i don't know how many years like batman has been there So, hmm. so yeah, and for like a lot of people still make fun of the like you know Bruce Wayne's my parents are dead thing. So, so yeah, yeah. it's not like people don't make fun of it. <laughs> They make fun of Bruce Bruce Wayne's my parents are dead thing, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Seriously, you haven't seen that like like there's Those, this big memes. imager. Yeah. Yeah, there's this big meme where like Batman like in the first scene is like crying saying my parents are dead, and then like Superman is like well. Good for you. My entire pla- like planet is dead, and then like a bunch of other superheroes, and then at the end, Batman is just like this shocked face kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like Peter Parker is like, well, my parents and my uncle died. So, so oh, yeah, God. there's a lot of like, <laughs> like, yeah. like because it's a competition, right? Like the yeah, it's a competition. Hurts. Well, to see who suffered like, the most. Yeah, well, to be fair, like, I mean, like you know, Superman. But to be fair, like Batman can look so. back at all of them and go, "But my parents were rich motherfuckers." <laughs> I think that's what he did say in one of the memes, if I remember correctly. With what did I he say? <laughs> Something similar to the lines of what uh, he said, "Ki my my oh. parents were rich and stuff." I said, "Kuch shay tha," or maybe I'm mixing memes. I don't know. No, yeah, no. Batman has it has had his share of like. uh like unintentionally hilarious dialog because it's just like you know such a long running like comic so eventually you're going to get writers which like just like mess it up so mm. like like you know the infamous like i'm the goddamn batman scene <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah why so serious no that like why so serious is just like it why so serious was a great line in the context of the movie It's yeah, just that yeah. now it's like you know the cake it's is a lie kind of thing. Everyone just like has. It's really really tired and overused. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Right. So, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to call it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they <laughs> just exhausted. Yeah, I, I think I've heard enough Batman stuff for, uh, to last me for a bit, and just the random aside. So. Uh, that was all of us from the Dead Horse Podcast talking about stuff. Uh, this is Tejas, uh, Arvind, bye, uh, Vivek and Rashi, bye, bye, uh, signing out. Good night, everybody. <laughs>